question perfectly then because you said Tyson's looking for other opponents. He's looking maybe early February. Now, the WBC have just released that Dillian White is, is mandatory if he gets through. He needs to get through Otto Wallen as well on October 30th, but he is mandatory now for the winner of this fight. Um, talk to me about that. That is a tasty fight, especially for us in the UK with Tyson Fury if he gets past Wilder against Dillian White. Your thoughts on that? Well, this happened to Dillian White all the time. Last time it happened where he was mandatory, he fought the Russian guy, Povetkin, and got knocked on his ass. <laughs> Let me tell you, this Wallen guy, the Swede, is a hell of a fighter. And I look for Wallen to clearly beat uh, 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 White. Uh, and uh, so I'm not even taking it into consideration. I don't Those are the words of Bob Arum, as you heard him say, Hey, there's no surprise to me that Dillian White is back in the situation that he was in because he was once in it previous, and we've seen what happened with Povetkin, as though his words knocked on his ass by Povetkin. Let me counterpunch. Look, Bob Arum can be right, he can be wrong, he can be off the charts, he could be whatever. In this situation, he's absolutely right. Um... Dillian White was in the same situation. As much as we wanted Dillian White to fight for the mandatory position that he's been fighting his ass off for, that's exactly what happened. He didn't make that up. That was no accusation. That was no lie. That was no opinion. That's a fact. He was knocked out by Povetkin. Okay? Now, that does not excuse all the other shit that happened with uh, Dillian White. Dillian White was, he had a, he had a weird situation that happened in the WBC just came in and just j off of assumption off of somebody else's analysis they came in and made a decision which they knew they were wrong for in 2019 when he fought Oscar Rivas really me counterpunching that uh, I want people to understand how I feel about that okay first off if it was something with the sample A and it was something with UCAD for one first thing that's with UCAD, not with VADA, okay? But because of what happened with UCAD, okay, and Team Rivas did not know about it because it wasn't disclosed, they should have either made that fight a no contest or made Dillian White go right back in there and fight Oscar Rivas again. That's what should have happened. Oscar Riva shouldn't have a number one on his loss because due to how that fight went down, because you had a fighter that you were fighting that had something that he tested some uh, not negative for, right? And you fought him anyway, and he was not told or consulted. So that should be a no contest. So I think Team Rivas should be actually shooting for that particular thing. That makes more sense than anything else to me. But <clears throat> the WBC did go in and did what they did, and it was wrong, okay? Just like it was wrong for Team White not to inform Team Rivas before going into that match of what happened in that sample B, okay? So we got to be fair about it, you know what I mean? But like Bob Aram said, hey, Otto Vilene is a tough guy. He's a good fighter, and he thinks he's going to beat Dillian White anyway, okay? Now that's where, you know, come on. Otto Vilene is a good fighter, yes. He's a determined fighter. He's an underrated fighter, okay? But some people overrate him, just like Bob Arum did. So you don't want to overrate a fighter that's already underrated. So uh, maybe, just maybe, he might come in in the middle because he did survive a hard-hitting, bigger guy like Dominic Brazil, and he took some shots from Dominic Brazil that I think he shouldn't have taken. You know, maybe the shots that Dylan White will hit him with he may not take so well, and Dillian White is not a guy that's slower uh, like molasses in the wintertime like Dominic Brazil was, okay? Because Dominic couldn't even put anything together because Otto Vilene was constantly putting these combinations together. And the thing is, does Otto Vilene have the punching power to affect Dillian White? That's the question you ask yourself next on that. So, um... Bob Arum, I don't know why he is shooing down Dillian White just because Alexander Povetkin did it because Alexander 
is a Golden Olympian, a former WBA heavyweight champion. He's had a lot of accolades. He's only had two losses, well, three now, to uh, the best fighters in the world, Vlad, Joshua, and then White second after knocking White out. So, you know, that's a totally different story from a guy that just fought Tyson Fury, a tough fight, but still got beat and then got through a guy that was on his way out the door like Dominic Brazil. So, you know, I, I think that's a long shot and a totally different type of comparison when you're talking about two different guys. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Bob Arum's statement that D Dillian White will lose to Otto Vileen, so he won't take him seriously. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.